Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, we're going to go over how to do a photo V carve in CarveCo Maker. I'm going to start by starting a new model. I'm just doing 24 inches wide and 18 inches tall. This is the size of the material that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to be using MDF and we're referencing the bottom left corner. Now to bring in a picture for a photo V carve, we're going to start by going up here to the relief tab import and instead of importing a 3d model we're just going to click this import on this folder button we're going to pick the photo that i want to photo v carve now normally the picture comes in really really large so we want to make sure that we change the size we're going to do this over here in our transform settings so i'm just going to change that to 24 and that's going to make it the 24 by 18 that our material is at to carve these photo v carves we're doing these really shallow carving so what we need is to make this really thin i'm going to use point zero four two zero zero four twenty and we're just going to press apply and then i'm going to need to recenter the picture into my material so i'm going to press f9 on my keyboard we also could have right clicked the picture and just put center and model which is also the f9 button but this takes our photograph and centers it in our material we're just going to paste that down and now we have our photograph in our material the two most important factors of getting these photo v carves right is first the depth at which you paste it down and the second is the step over the first important important factor is how thick it was when you first paste it down and we picked 0 0.0420 as our model thickness the thinner the model the easier it is to get the colors to blend the thicker it is the more defined that it's going to be but you'll find that having it really thin will actually give you the better results to set up a photo v carve you would think that we would be using the v carve toolpath but but in fact, we're going to be using the machine relief toolpath. We imported this photograph as a relief, and so we need the machine relief toolpath in order to cut it out. Now, we are going to be doing the whole relief because the photograph is the entire size of my material. We only need a finishing bit, and this is where we're going to select our V bit. Now, these work great with 90 degree and 60 degree V bits. I prefer the 60 degree V bit. It gives a little sharper image. We're going to select our 90 degree V bit, and then we're going to drop this little menu down so that we can change our step over in this photo V card. Right now, it's set to 0 0.09375. And we're just going to change that to this point zero four two zero. So our step over and our depth actually matched. I'm going to press calculate. Now I also had this set to a 45 degree angle. I like using the 45 degree because it carves against the grain of the wood. I'm actually going to lower this for this one. We're going to put this at a 30 degree angle and recalculate. Now the trick to getting these photo V carves come out correctly is to look at our simulation. And basically we're looking for a nice clean photo finish in our simulation. And this is going to let us know how that's going to come out. Okay, and now that we have this set up, we're ready to send this to the machine and go out and cut it out. We've got our V-bit set up. This is a 60-degree Groovy Jenny V-bit from Cadence Manufacturing. I'll have a link in the description below. These are really great bits for this type of application. The downshear V-bit leaves a really clean top edge. We're also going to be using our dust extractor. MDF is a pretty nasty dust, and you don't want to be breathing that stuff in. You're using dust extraction for this project. We have everything set up now, and we're ready to start the cut. We've got everything cut out, and the next step is going to be to seal the project. I'm going to be using this Verithane pre-stained wood conditioner. This stuff works really good to seal your projects in. And we're just going to apply a coat over our V-carve. 
We got the sealer put in and now we're just gonna let that dry. We had to put a pretty heavy coat because the MDF sucks it up. But we got a good coat on and as soon as this dries, we're gonna come back with our black paint. Now that we have our entire photo V carving painted black, we're ready to start sanding. I'm gonna be using an orbital sander and we're gonna be using 120 grit to take off the top layer of black. And after some sanding, we have finished the project. We captured the image quite well. I think it came out really nice. There might be some minor sanding on some of these little spots that we could do to try and even it out, but I think it came out really well. And that's how you do a photo V carve. Guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and share this with someone. Thanks guys.